So I blew all of my damn money on Mystical Sand because I think she's hot as fuck. But it turns out that I forgot that I can't really do that because of my debt capacity. Because uh, the Duelist level tells you the highest level of cards you can use. So I can only use cards up to uh, Duelist or cost of 117. But in my deck, all the, those cards, the sum of their cost has to be less than my desk capacity or equal to. Which is why I only have one Mystic Sand. But I do uh, have a couple of random good cards. Uh, so you know, I have a Sausages Hero with a Dallin Attack, which isn't bad. Doran is great because you can use those effects to summon two monsters and then later tribute those monsters. Uh, Keymates I pretty much just have just for the, um, the typing. Uh, it comes in pretty handy later on. Uh, Trap Master is pretty cool. Hourglass of Life is dope because it uh, you can exchange a thousand life points to power up all monsters on the field, including your your opponents, which is whatever. Uh, but it's a pretty good, nice boost card. Nekogal number one is cool because she has 1100 attack. Same with Moon Envy. We got Dark Hole Moon Moonyan or Muyan Curry uh, Curry Curry Curry. I had to throw in there just because of the fact that it's only like, yeah, it's zero cost. So it just fills a slot in my deck, so I have at least 40 cards. You also can't have more than 40. You have to have exactly 40. Uh, Swordsman from a foreign land is similarly, he only has a cost of 14, so I, I had to throw him in there. Um, Saber Slasher I always thought looked kind of interesting. Um, and then Ice Water is cool, nice attack. Rainbow Marine Mermaid is cool. Uh, we gotta keep these guys just to kind of level things out. We got one mystical sand at the very least. We got Skull Angel who's great unless you draw cards. Dharma Cannon is great. It's one of the first cards I ever got in this game like from Anti and it was my quote unquote strongest card for a very long time in this game. Um, and it was one of the better cards that I kept using. Uh, so I've always had a liking to Dharma Cannon which is why I have two of it. Plus has a respectable 900 attack. Uh, we got fake ass Karibo here, little D because he's hilarious, Dark Witch because she can get it, and then these guys just cause. We got Witch's Apprentice, who I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to use anytime soon. And we've got a shit ton of uh, spells and traps. Uh, we also have to bring back two unhappy maidens just because she has uh, 10 costs as well. But we do have a pot of greed. Uh, and we got Final Destination, which just destroys everything. <laughs> uh, Monster Reborn, which is. Great. There's an ambulance, which is not as great. Um, but yeah, Monster Reborn just resurrects a monster from the opponent's graveyard and plays it on the player's side of the field. It only does the most recent monster. <laughs> so you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, that's my deck so far. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over to the other area. We haven't been to the art museum. We can't enter it right now, but we can have a little chat with, wow, I just stepped all over his face, Bakura over here. Phoenix, aren't you with your friends like Yugi? I spent, I slept in after writing T, G, T, G, P, R scenarios? Tactical RPGs? Huh. Uh, last night. I made it to the tourney just a while ago. Wow, I didn't know Bakura was such a nerd. That's kind of cool. Let's do it. Okay, sure. Let me try out my game plan. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ante up our new, sh our new most worthy card, Jinzo. I don't plan on losing, uh, um, which is why I keep anting up my rarest card. Because I'm hoping in turn I'll get my opponent's rarest card. Ooh, someone that's actually played a face down card. Whoa! Uh, one of the things you should remember in this game is you should always attack first with the monster you have on the field, or the monsters you currently have on the field. Because if your opponent had the type advantage to kill it, he would have done it. <laughs> he or she would have used the type advantage to kill your monster. Because sometimes I'll summon, let's say right now, a Sosley's hero, but uh, thinking that, you know, um, the monster is weak enough, but it might end up being like an earth type monster or something like that and end up killing him. You know, that kind of deal. Uh, uh, I guess we'll get rid of Muka Muka. There's some mystical sand. And then, wow, he literally summoned three candles of fate in a row. Go ahead and attack with the stand. Nice damage. And he's gonna go ahead and continue playing cards face down. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tribute our hero. Hero scout guard or some shit. <laughs> and then just keep on plowing right through Bakura. 
Originally, I was going to have an episode where I take on Bakura and Joey, but as you can see, uh, that's that episode's not going to happen. <laughs> wow, 3,000 DP, and we got Portrait Secret. It's an okay card. Uh, it has way too much deals or cost for what it's worth, but whatever. Ugh. I guess I need to prepare a bit more. After all, you've been you've been winning your way up. I've got to put more thought to my deck. Cool. And as you can, oh, can't duel those guys, and I can't duel him again. Um, so that does it for that. But on to the main meat and potatoes of this episode. We're actually gonna go ahead and uh, take on this numbskull here. Yeah, what is it? I don't duel with obvious losers. There's no point in wasting time with pushovers, bruh. Oh yeah, you look like a decent duelist. We'll duel with you. Our locator card's on the line. I only duel when the stakes are serious. Don't expect me to pull any punches, alright? Alright, buddy. Um, I guess, yeah, Baron is just as good. Ooh, finally. So you can see here, we have uh, also field advantage. There's a lot of cards. Or a lot of duelists that manage to get this in a lot of different areas, they get the field advantage. So if he summons one of his dinosaurs, I'm gonna get anally fucked because he's going to go ahead and um, get a boost from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this in defense mode. Well, doesn't help that I don't really have any good cards. Okay, good. He just has Hanawa. And a face down card. I have Pot of Greed, so I can play two cards face down and then activate the magic card, Pot of Greed. There's also no sort of. Not that I can think of, there's no real way to stop spell cards. Or trap cards, so that's good. And some ice water, we should get rid of that pretty easily. I don't think he's gonna have too many strong cards. Uh, I believe maybe I just made the assumption <laughs> that because he had the field, he's gonna end up having good cards, but nope, he's not getting boosted by anything really, and neither am I, unfortunately. It's pretty silly how Witch's Apprentice has her effect, but Starboy doesn't, because they both have the same similar effects in actual Yu Gi Oh! But, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll summon Starboy here. Get rid of Queenie's double. Does she only work against Shadow type? Yeah, she only works on the Shadow type. Uh, that sucks. Uh, it would have been nice if you worked on Fiends, just because they're so similar. But there's not really anything I can do about that. Um, let's see, what was the last card that you played? The monster has been arrived. I'll have Queen's double on now. Summon Becker to the Darkness. Which will carry a monster to on the fold field to the graveyard. And I'm gonna transfer the transfer. Sacrifice your queen's double and summon Saber Slasher. And then just go ahead and pretty sure this finishes you off. No, you're actually alive with a tiny smidgen of health. Alright. And my turn. You've played four sorry, three face down cards, none of which have done a damn thing. <laughs> Not sure what your game plan there was, Rex, but alright. There we go. And then that's going to increase my deck capacity by 30 again, which is awesome. We're going to get 1500 Domino, which is nice. And get Sword Arm of Dragon, which is kind of whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to sort of... Um, like I had mentioned earlier that we kind of take place... Or rather, take the place of Joey in this series. Ugh, that didn't make any sense. We're kind of taking place of Joey in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series in the story of this game. Somewhat. Uh, I don't want to really spoil too much. <laughs> Even though this, I mean, the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! is a million years old, so it's not like much... There is much for me to spoil. But, um... One of the things that Joey really did well is that he, uh, in Battle City, he managed to beat a lot of duels and get their rare cards. Uh, and then he used a lot of their rare cards, so you know, he got Jinzo, started using Jinzo a bunch. He got uh, Instant Queen, used Instant Queen. You know, he got all these actual cards and actually used them, unlike most of the other guys that really only used the god cards that they got them. Darn, I lost. My dinosaur deck couldn't get it done. Tch. Well, it can't be helped. Take this card. Got another locator card. Fuck yeah. Um, the other thing is that I, um... I, yeah, well, not the other thing. The, the main thing I wanted to finish up on was that I wanted to try and do that. You know, use all the cards of the opponents that I beat. I feel like that's a nice touch. I will consider that. We also got here, unlock the park, which the game doesn't fucking tell you anything about. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can actually do that. We got here Sword Arm of Dragon right here. Um, if we get rid of, I don't know who the hell we do have to get rid of. I think maybe if we get rid of this, I might just have enough. No, nowhere near enough. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna get rid of Rainbow Mermaid. Uh, hmm. I'll get rid of Rainbow Mermaid and Sosley's Hero. There you go. And then I can add cards that are like 50 in cost. Uh, let's see, what am I up to? Yeah. So I can add cards from here around here. Oh, sweet. So I can get a. Hey, <laughs> our boy of the Wandering Doom. I can't get that. Uh, so I need to get rid of a 50. Uh, who wants to go? How much are you? You're 42. 37. You guys are pretty much the same. Why are you guys so different? <laughs> uh, there you go. You. Get rid of you. Go back here and then just add two random shitty cards. Um, 33 gives me 50. And then... Oops, move to deck, and then move to deck? No. Move to, return to trunk. Uh, <laughs> uh, move to deck? Nope. Return to trunk. Uh, move to deck, return to trunk. Uh, move to deck? No, return to trunk. Um, move to deck? Nope. Return to trunk. Brrr, move to deck? Nope. Return to trunk. Um, come on, 14, really? All right, so we need something that has 11. <laughs> That's great. There you go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Stay fresh.